hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and to today's weekly vlog i don't feel like i've actually posted a weekly vlog in a very long time or if ever but i've got a few things actually to do as we're coming out of lockdown um that i thought would be fun to film so i really hope that you enjoy this vlog yeah and just join me over the course of this week so i'm off for drinks tonight uh going to archer street in northcote road or on northcote road um in clapham also what is going on with my hair i am desperate to have my hair touched up like look at my roots that's actually not okay at the minute it's like sit outside vibes and i'm not gonna lie i'm a little bit over it because i just hate being cold so i think i'm actually gonna take a hot water bottle out with me yes i am that grandma but you know gotta stay warm take you along with me i'm meeting uh sophie and martha i really really want an espresso martini i'm not going to go too hard though because uh, poppy's getting married on saturday and i need to be kind of fresh faced and bright eyed and bushy tailed so to speak so yeah next stop is archer street right so we are at archer street it's actually a really cute little spot i've got an espresso martini here and then there are <laughs> <laughs> Martha was a double park. So I'm here with Martha who's looking cheers. lovely in red cheers and Bryony. Cheers. Actually I think we should cheers girls, shouldn't cheers. we? I try not to get salt on my espresso. Thursday. Thursday, Thursday. Um but yeah we're at this really cute spot. It's Archer Street uh on Northcote Road and there's what's that over there? Northcote Records. Um so yeah, let's hope we don't get too drunk. <laughs> also, I've got my little hot water bottle here, look, covering my knees. So, little tip for anyone drinking outside. So guys, it is actually really quite late, I'm not gonna lie. Um, oh my God, it's two minutes to one. And I am just here in my strawberry print pajamas. Um, they're from Monkey, I'll leave a link below um my face is a little bit red i exfoliated it and it's gone a bit pink so excuse the beetroot vibes um drinks are really really nice honestly the hot water bottle if you've got drinks coming up in the next couple of days um or next week and outside because i don't think we are able to socialize indoors until the 17th of may um definitely take a hot water bottle it helped so so much i was cold i can't believe that is almost may and well it will be may when this vlog goes up so happy may can't believe that we're in may already i just can't get over how cold it is i'm just so over this weather i feel like we have just had the longest longest winter of all time um, so I've just done one layer of fake tan. I don't know if you can see, probably not. Um, and you have to wait like 30 minutes to apply the other. And then I'm going to do my hands and feet as well. Because I find that tanning two days before an event actually um, is... The tan just looks the best. Um, and it's Poppy's wedding on Saturday. So yeah, I'm just kind of waiting for the first layer to dry and i'm gonna reapply the second layer um and then get to bed i can't wait to go to sleep because tomorrow i've got a busy day which i will take you along with me on um but yeah i just wanted to update you i'm gonna go to bed now um it's yeah really really late i'm actually going to show you what book i'm reading because it's really really good so this is my bedside table vibes i've made a mint tea because grandma life i've got a candle burning there this one actually smells amazing island rose and african geranium so this is the book that i'm reading it's the silent patient really really good i'm a about 60 pages in and i'm really really loving it so if you're looking for a new book to read maybe this one is for you good morning guys so the time is 8 20 i am very tired but i need to nip to tesco now i need to get some champagne because i'm going to deliver a book to poppy this morning um, and I have no Oatly and I need a coffee. So this is my, I'm popping to the shops outfit. I've got this really cozy knitted cord. It's like a matching one from Mango. If it's still in stock, I will link it. Thrown on a denim jacket, coach bag there. 
and then i've just got my chanel dad sandals i actually need to wash off my fake tan but look how brown i'm looking loving life look at the sunshine coming through such a nice day today really hope that oh, i feel like i've got water in my ear after the shower really hope that we have this weather tomorrow for poppy's wedding so i'm showered i have washed my hair i went to tesco earlier and i picked up i'll show you some champagne that i'm gonna give to poppy we've got a card which i'll show you and then i've got some oatly because i've run out oatly is literally the best i love this barista one i'm gonna make a coffee oh, i don't think i'm gonna have time to have breakfast because i've literally got 20 minutes to dry my hair do my skincare and then i'm going to drop the stuff off to poppy and then i'm going to have my eyebrows done so yeah feeling quite tired this morning um not really hung over just had a late night because i fake tanned and i'm a bit gutted because i'm not even that tanned well i don't think i am um so i might have to do another layer like a mug tonight um but yeah i need a coffee asap So this was a little book that we've done for Poppy. How cute. I will, we've all written inside it with photos. Um, I'll show you my page. I don't know where it is. Here we go. Picture of me and Poppy in Paris. And then a nice little message. I'm just walking up Poppy's road now. Got her little present here. I'll probably perch you so you can see her surprise. She's not expecting me. I actually hope that she's in. I think she went to an F45 class this morning. Um, I'm so glad that I didn't bring a jacket. I'm boiling up, but I've only got a little tank top underneath, so I can't really take off my jumper. But you know, when you're like rushing around and you get really sweaty. So yeah, I really hope that she is surprised. I know she's gonna love it. Literally, Poppy loves surprises like this. Um, and then I've got to rush off to my eyebrow appointment. I managed to actually push it back by 15 minutes. Um, okay, I'm coming up to her now. I hope she doesn't see me from the window. Okay, amazing. <laughs> Bye. Hi. Hello, Hi. you look amazing. Thanks. I love this colour on you. It's such a free wedding gift. Oh, thank you so much. Oh. Oh. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, I'm feeling really good. Yeah. Like I went to F45 this morning. Yeah. You look tiny. Do I? Yes. I know these are a bit big though, but they're just because we're going to be doing like lots of stuff in the house. I okay. want to be like be able yeah. to move Lots around. Am I, am I tanned enough? Yeah, I yeah. don't feel, look at me, I'm not tanned enough. I feel like I, I think need you're to do right. another layer. Maybe another little layer, like a light layer, a light misting. I did everything right as well. This needs another layer. I'm just waiting to get my eyebrows done. It's so nice in here. If you live in Streatham, it's called Espa. Um, it's my first time here, but it's actually so relaxing in here. I'm chilling on this little seat here, waiting for the therapist to see me. So yeah, gonna attend to these babies. It's already been a while. They are so overgrown and they need dying. how cute is this little room i really wish i was going for a massage now actually low-key gutted but i think i'm gonna come back here because it's so nice and i really really want a massage um yes yeah, so it's espar and Streatham. i booked it on treatwell so this is a very standard Gemma brunch i haven't eaten yet and it is almost one o'clock but um yeah avocado and scrambled eggs so guys i did a little outfit change very summery but um yeah this is what i'm wearing 
So guys, I actually ventured out to St. Johnson's Wood. Um, just had an appointment, which I will update you guys on in the next couple of weeks. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna say any more, but um, yeah, just come over to St. John's Wood and now I've got to go back to Balham. I'm gonna head to the gym now. Well, there's like so many kids and I actually am really embarrassed vlogging in, camp in public. So, oh, I'm gonna put the camera away now. It is uh, a little while since I spoke to you, half past five on a Friday night, wild. Um, I just got to the gym, I've got my new King's hoodie, look how nice the colour is, um, it's a khaki one. Uh, I always get loads and loads of questions, like, oh my god, I love your hoodie, where's it from? You have to come to King's Gym, they sell them here, they've got that really nice fleece lining, I don't know if you can see that like that there. So yeah, I think I'm going to train legs, I've got my, oh. <sighs> BCAs in here and yeah hopefully have a good session I'll catch up with you after that's not mine by the way but um yeah I'm just in the changing rooms at King's and these are my new bow and tee shorts I am obsessed with the color they're like this gorgeous coral and then this is the matching sports bra literally love it i love the color and i actually think it looks really nice with khaki and then don't laugh at my gym bag <laughs> up one of these it tastes like Fanta orange it's so nice good evening everyone so i'm back from the gym gonna have some food wow it's noisy i need to close my window um tiff actually gave me this barley body express i do need to do another layer of fake tan i'm just not tanned enough and because the dress that i'm wearing tomorrow is really pale um, I feel like, you know when it just like washes you out a little bit, so I'm going to do a layer, this is express, so actually I will update you tomorrow and let you know how I get on with it, because I do love the barley body, like the normal one, um, but because it's coming to the end, I feel like sometimes when that happens, the tan just isn't as dark, that shade ultra dark, this is dark, I don't think I need ultra dark, um, so yeah, I'll probably catch up with you tomorrow actually, um, when I am getting into my bridesmaid dress and we'll show you. So yeah, that is the plan tonight. I'm gonna take off my makeup now and make some dinner, I'm starving. Good morning everyone. So it is Saturday the 1st of May today. Um, I don't have any makeup on and I've just kind of put my hair, I've just curled my hair, I've tonged it. Um, this is the tong that I use. It's the former Well Beauty one. I will see if I can link it below for you. Let's achieve these gorgeous ways. So it's Poppy's wedding today. She's getting married. I fake tanned. I use the Barley Body Express and I love it. I just use one layer and I feel like it just makes me feel the level of tanned I want to be. So I've done my skincare. I'm actually going to pop this little Garnier mask on. Um, because I've heard that if you use a face mask um, before you apply your makeup, it just lasts a lot longer. So this is the detox one. Um, you leave it on for five minutes. Um, so yeah, hopefully my skin will be looking glorious. Um, so this is the little sheet mask. I think they're stocked on Look Fantastic. And I have used one before and they were really, really nice. If I can kind of undo it oh god this is a bit tricky oh there we go um if i look like a ghost <laughs> oh trying not to get it in my hair as well anyone else really struggled to put these things on like oh, i feel like it's tucked under there that's so annoying there we go there we go wow what a sight for sore eyes um so i'm gonna leave that on it feels amazing already actually look at me now look at me now my alarm for five minutes da, da, da. so my makeup is done i just put some oil in my hair just to make it look a little bit more shiny need to get out of my dressing gown i'm gonna steam my dress now um so i'll show you what it looks like on it is beautiful 
it's this one here it's so so nice so yeah i'm actually getting really like nervous excited it's such a beautiful day outside nothing but blue skies bridesmaid dress is on this is what it looks like it's absolutely gorgeous i have a confession i do have some spanks on because this isn't the most forgiving material and I have a change for later, which I might put on depending on how much I eat and how bloated I feel. But yeah, gorgeous, loving the tan. I've got my Missima necklaces on and also my Gucci sandals, which are so comfy. They're a perfect heel height. So yeah, I'm super, super excited. Good afternoon, everyone. So it's the next day. Wow, it's very, very sunny in my room um yeah i basically slept in for the whole day it's the next day now it's sunday i think where's my phone it's eight minutes to five i got in at like four <laughs> um and i slept all the way through to be honest um until like half past two so i don't actually feel hungover even though i should be dying because the amount of alcohol that i consumed was not funny um but yeah it was such a beautiful day um i'll insert a picture here of me and poppy oh we had such a beautiful day it was so so nice um but i think i'm gonna order a pizza now i feel like i haven't had a takeaway for a couple of weeks i haven't eaten yet my stomach is feeling very flat um and yeah it's really sunny outside but i feel like today is just a write-off so i'm going to treat it as that i'm going to change my bed sheets get into bed sheets because fresh bed sheets are literally life and enjoy my pizza so i will show you that when it arrives i also had um a couple of like pr packages come through which i will show you in a second i really need to stay hydrated mm. but yeah sunday today i hope you're having or have had by the time you watch this a lovely bank holiday weekend this book arrived just now i ordered it from amazon i will link it below this is going to be my may book club read i'll leave the handle of my book club page here on the screen so do come and join if you haven't read this book i've heard so many amazing things i think it's yeah around 400 and 30 pages let me know below if you've read this but i'm so excited to get stuck into it because i've heard so many good things um and then i thought i would show you this here package i don't know how to pronounce it is it yosh um the packaging is always so beautiful so it comes in these little dust bags i love them like look how colorful they are honestly packaging goals i have had a little look at these already and then you get these little pouches and then these boxes so they'll make such gorgeous gifts so i got these beautiful well no actually this is the necklace i'll show you so this is the chain and then that's the little pendant it's absolutely gorgeous i love the detail i mean look at that and then i think in here are some earrings so hard to do this one handed um oh epic fail so these are the earrings look how gorgeous they are like absolutely stunning um i've got two pairs of those which is this one which i just put on i love their jewelry i just think it's so gorgeous this is such a statement piece i love it um so they did kindly gift it to me so thank you so much that's their instagram you can go check them out and then that's their website as well it had to be done <gasps> oh my god pizza for days so i went for the gorgonzola hot i love that you can do half half so that was the gorgonzola and then that's the tata buffala i think and then this is hands down the best garlic mayo dip you'll ever have so this is the place it's forreza and then that is the 
you can order online and then there's their Instagram page. Also, if you live in Streatham, you're going to love me forever. You can use that code to get 50% off all pizzas um, until the end of May. So this whole thing cost me £12. OMG! I'm so excited! Another day, another mask. I love surprising you guys with these. Oh, but I feel like after a full day of drinking yesterday and kind of crap food this is definitely needed so i'm going to leave this one on for 15 minutes this is the one that i'm using the garnier ones are so so good and yeah uh i feel like yesterday when i actually put this on before i did my makeup my makeup went on so nicely so i might actually get into a habit of using these more when i've got like big events where i want my makeup to look really good so yeah 15 minutes and hopefully i'll have gorgeous hydrated non-alcoholic skin makeup is on honestly doing that face mask before you do your makeup it's a really really good tip for anyone i feel like my makeup looks really good <laughs> considering i was out all day yesterday drinking all day um so yeah i'm actually off for drinks again wild it's not going to be a heavy night um i'm feeling very full from the pizza i had it was so good i had four slices could have gone for more but i was like if i eat any more i'm not going to be able to fit into anything and i am going to be comatized um so yeah about to head out now i'll show you my outfit in the mirror um i really need an espresso martini because i haven't really felt that tired today to be honest um definitely sleeping for like 10 hours definitely helped uh but yeah espresso martini pending i need a strong one and yeah that's basically all i've done today so indecisive nelly over here i actually changed my mind i feel a little bit more comfortable in this this dress is actually from asos i think it's still in stock so i will link it for you it's gorgeous it really reminds me of like rixo um or something like that it's a really really lovely material i think it might be viscose and then it crosses over i find these style necklines so flattering on like every body shape and then you tie it here it also has a little fastening inside so it'll keep you nice and secure um you can go braless you can wear a bra with this and then i've just got my misama jewelry on here that's the mini fang choker necklace and then that's the coin one and then that is my daisy rings hello everyone it is i don't even know when i last updated you i definitely didn't come on yesterday so that was bank holiday monday so it's tuesday the 4th of may um i've been a very bad vlogger again um but to be frank i was so hung over yesterday i literally spent the whole day in bed and it was a two takeaway kind of weekend i got a pizza which you would have seen which was epic that lasted me for like two days and then last night i ordered a cheeky nando's i got the sunset burger with peri salted fries oh my goodness was so good and then the peri drizzle which i'm gonna use i think to make some chicken for lunch actually and perinase um, so this morning I massively overslept and <laughs> yeah had a bit of a slow start to the day whoa sunshine so it's um quarter past two I have filmed some content at home I just edited a reel actually styling this linen shirt in three different ways I currently feel like I need to inject caffeine into my eyeballs so I'm actually quite grateful that it's a four day week this week um so i think i started this vlog on thursday which means i'll probably take you guys up until this thursday um so yeah i'm gonna go to the gym later because i haven't been for three days if i can stay awake till around five o'clock um i'm just having an admin day what i'm gonna do now is make a coffee and actually uh make a start on my book club read shuggy bane um so yeah i did mention earlier my book club page is at book club in the city i'll leave the instagram handle here and down below in the description box this is may's read really looking forward to get stuck into this it's a 2020 
Booker Prize winner. And if any of you want to join my book club, then please do join me for me. I'd love to have you. I'm going to go down and make a coffee. And I really should go for a walk outside. But the weather is honestly like a fuckboy today. It's so unpredictable. Uh, one minute it's windy. The next minute it looks like it's going to rain. And now it's pure sunshine. So I just can't keep up. Oh, there we go. The sun's gone in. Um... <laughs> so yeah i hope that you're having a lovely start to the week i'm going to try and get this up no not on wednesday i'm going to get this up hopefully towards the end of the week so yeah i hope you're having a lovely week guys and yeah i need a coffee it's going to be my second one of the day i'm also trying to drink as much water as possible i think this is my third one basically to counterbalance the amount of alcohol i consumed honestly i cannot wait for a weekend off from drinking <laughs> save me oh, god my eyeballs are actually stinging <laughs> yes also i'll link this it's from anthropology these are the coffee capsules that i use i get them on subscription um and then of course oatly barista milk Oh my goodness, giving me life right now. Look at that for us. Also, look how windy it is outside. So windy. Ah. Don't mind if I do. This is my leftover Easter egg and I'm feeling really, really peckish. And I've got to have some chocolate. Mm. Oh my God, dairy milk is literally the best. So guys, it's a little while since I last spoke to you um it's 10 past four and i am gonna go to the gym i reckon in about an hour and a bit but i need to have some food um so i think i might have some chicken um i've just been editing this very vlog that you're watching i read a bit of my new book as well so yeah i'm gonna eat something quickly and then let it settle in my stomach and then train because i can't go to the gym on an empty stomach but i can't go feeling too full either like i need enough food to fuel my workout basically um so yeah that's the plan of attack for this evening i think i might have to get a knocko um it's like a drink caffeinated drink that has bcas in it i think it might even have glutamine i'm not sure um but it's actually got a lot of caffeine in it but i actually feel like i might need one today to get through my workout um so yeah i'll show you what i rustle up to eat in a second i'm being super lazy this is a ready to eat roast chicken just gonna pop it in the microwave and have it with some veg this is what i'm having there's a whole chicken breast there and a leg and a whole tree <laughs> i really thought i had some brown rice but i don't have any and i don't really have enough time or can be bothered to cook uh normal rice on the hob and then i'm gonna use this i actually got this yesterday and i ordered nando's and it's the best thing ever yum so guys i'm not actually sure if you can hear me because the music is everyone so it is wait what day is it wednesday today god the bank holidays are really really throwing me off wednesday today so i haven't actually checked in with you guys since the gym last night so i've just been doing like really tedious admin tasks today at home um and i just popped out now to the supermarket i'm gonna go to aldi because i need food so yeah i've got my adenola tracksuit on today with my chanel dad sandals tracksuit i like to call cookies and cream because it reminds me of cookies and cream um so i think i'm gonna grab a coffee i should have brought my sunglasses <laughs> um 
yeah i think i'm gonna grab a coffee as well and pick up some bits that i need um which i'll show you when i get home and um yeah i'm actually regretting not taking a jacket and this wind is making me look like an, a bald egg <laughs> i'm back from the supermarket i thought i'd quickly show you what i got so this is my protein i got some king prawns salmon fillet which are way cheaper than in tesco and then um this chicken usually i go for a 600 gram family pack but well, they didn't have any so i've got 500 grams and then some eggs some raspberries some coconut oil i tend to fry most of my stuff in in this coconut oil this edamame bean salad i recently discovered a couple of weeks ago and it's so nice if you stir fry it with like prawns and occasion spice and then i've got some sweet peppers bananas limes avocados tender stem broccoli this dark rye sourdough bread which i really like also this candle as well i've not seen this scent before the peony blush i usually get the pomegranate one which is based i mean this is a dupe of the joe malone and it's amazing so i can't wait to like that and i think that was like three pounds something and then i've got some tulips aldi flowers are so good so these obviously still need to bloom but i'm going to pop them in my h&m bars upstairs and then um some shower gel just making some lunch now i literally just rammed some chocolate in my mouth because i was starving i haven't eaten since breakfast and i think it's half past three um so a little tip for you if you don't have a steamer at home this is a really really good trick this is how i tend to steam my veg so you get a pan of like a saucepan of boiling water a sieve and then you pop your veg in there with the lid and it steams it so good so i thought i'd just show you my lunch very very healthy um obviously it's very self-explanatory tender stem broccoli we've got sweet chili salmon fillet there and then the brown packet rice i picked some up yesterday because i'm so lazy to cook rice on the hob and it's literally the best thing ever hello everyone so today is thursday i can't even remember the last time i spoke to you guys but i am off out i feel like i have no neck in this jumper i'm going to brixton for drinks i think we are going to the duke of edinburgh i'm actually running super super late um so i am going to take my phone and i'll like vlog there whilst i'm there so the quality might change a little bit i just don't want to take my vlogging camera out with me i just still get a little bit a embarrassed and also like the whole like safety measures as well i don't want to get mugged so this whoa well at least it's sunny for the beer garden <laughs> um my outfit i've gone for a jumper because it's still quite chilly out there although 19 degrees tomorrow apparently i'm so excited for this um so i've got my missima necklace this is old from asos but it's really cozy and fluffy my ripped zara jeans which i seem to live in at the minute and then my new vasias look how cute these are they are pastel and gorgeous i actually need to spray some protective spray on them but i love them i will link oh my god it's so sunny i'm gonna need sunglasses um i'll link those down below for you and my little Lueve basket bag oh my god look at the sun glare how pretty so yeah like i said i will catch up with you guys when i get home wow i'm literally like blinded <laughs> um i will catch up with you when i get home let you know how my night was how cold i was on a scale of one to ten and yeah i'll probably end the vlog when i get back because it would have been a whole week so yeah i hope you're not sick of my face um or if anything i've just been good background noise for you anyways i've got to go because i've got to bus it to brixton now and it's probably going to be quite a bit of traffic so yeah next stop drinks i really didn't want to drink this week but forgot about these reservations so here we are <laughs> I'm home 
now in the bathroom about to do my skincare in my strawberry print pajamas. I've had a little bit too much Prosecco and may have just ordered, well if I can not wobble around, I feel like I'm drunk on YouTube. Um, I may have just ordered a pizza as well. Um, thank God for a stretchy waistband. I already feel bloated. I did have some chips. I shared them with Tegan at the Duke of Edinburgh. That's where we were. It was freezing. I wasn't as bad as the other day though. But um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and conclude the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. I'd absolutely love that. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.